Here's another example with graphing ellipses. It's a little bit different than the last problem because not right in standard form quite yet. What's different about this problem is there's some multipliers in front of the x squared and the y squared, and the right-hand side of the equation doesn't have 1. So if we look back at a few slides ago, the red and the blue equations here are in standard form. We need to adjust ours. So in order for us to get that 400 to be a value of 1, we're going to divide all sides by 400. So 25x squared plus 16y squared equals 400. I want to make that 400 a 1. So I'm going to divide all terms by 400. And now I simplify it. So I say, what can I simplify 25 and 400 by in this first fraction? We can actually go higher, 25. There is a common factor of 25. So if I take 25 divided by 25, I get 1. 400 divided by 16, yep, plus, head over to the second fraction. Is there a common factor there? 16, yep. equals 400 divided by 400 is 1. So now we need to decide between which of the two standard form equations it is. We look at the denominators. We see which one is the bigger number. This one is smaller. This one is bigger. So the orientation is like the blue equation here, right? So our ellipse is going to go vertically. So we're going to choose this blue equation. So to keep track of that blue equation, I'm just going to write it down here. x squared over b squared plus y squared over a squared equals 1. Now I need to figure out who is my a and who is my b. So this equation, I'm just going to rewrite the denominators. x squared, 16 as a perfect squared is 4 times 4, so 4 squared. And then 25, change that denominator to 5 times 5, 5 squared. Now can we identify our a and b quickly? Sure can. This will be our b squared. So then our b is a length of 4. The second denominator will be our a, which is 5 squared. So then a equals 5. All right. So our graph is going to stretch vertically. So the major axes will be on the vertical axes. Your A value is always on the major axes. Your B value is your minor axes. This will be your major. This will be your minor, your shorter. All right. So just like the last problem, our center, we didn't adjust the H or the K. We're going to start nice at 0, 0. I'm going to go ahead and set up my coordinate plane. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Major axes, one, two, three, four, five, and then down five. Okay. So our major axis is vertical. Our A value is 5. So we're going to go up 5 and down 5. 
This is over 0, 5, over 0, negative 5. So there's our first two points. Our major axis length is 10 units. Our minor axes, these are at the center. Our B value is 4. So we're going to go 4 to the right, 4 to the left. This distance here, B equals Minor axis length is twice B, so 8. Now we're set to go ahead and graph our ellipse. We have our four points. So we've graphed the ellipse. Now it wants the foci points. So we have to find the C. We use the same equation. C squared equals A squared minus B squared. So 5 squared minus 4 squared. So 25 minus 16 is 9. Square root 9. We get plus or minus 3. So the foci is going to run along the major axes, which is the vertical axes. Starts at the center of the ellipse. So we go three units up and three units down. There's your foci point. Over zero, down three. Other foci point over zero, up three. We'll continue with changing up a few things tomorrow and continuing on with our ellipses. Yep? How do you know what the foci is on the y-axis? <coughs> sure. So if we go back to this slide here, the foci point is always on the major axis. So if we talk about this red equation here, the standard form equation, the first number is going to be the bigger number, the a squared to the b squared. So that's going to run horizontal, and then the foci runs along here, the major axes. The second one, our denominator here is going to be smaller than that one here. Your a is always your bigger number. a is always the bigger number, b is the smaller number. So now this one's going to run vertically, and the foci runs along the vertical. Okay? Any other questions?